Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, on today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure NAT on GNS3. So um, this is a very simple topology that I've created. Uh, I got one VIOS, VIOS switch, uh, Windows machine, and it's connected directly to my uh, physical network. So what we'll be doing is I'm going to um, going to turn on this interface, the WAN interface, uh, and have it DHCP enabled on it so that it will get uh, private IP from my physical networks, and then it will be NATed out using my f physical network's public IP. But so like we are doing NAT inside a NAT. So, but the concept is going to remain the same even though if I plug the real um, real ONT, like real Ethernet from my ONT to the this switch. Um, so let's get started. Let's see how the configurations are. Uh, it's pretty simple. So let's go into the router. Uh, first thing first, let's um, to show IP interface brief. Show IP interface brief. So it's going to be gigabit zero slash zero that I'm going to assign the uh, DHCP. Configuration T interface gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero IP address DHCP. I'm just going to give a nice description as well. WAN interface. No shutdown. Uh, I'm also um, so this is the command to enable NAT uh, to uh, to make NAT understand this is outside outside interface. So the command is IP NAT outside. Uh, and sometimes the routers or switch or whatever you're using it it hangs when you do the IP NAT outside command because it's it's uh, it's con like it's turning on your uh, virtual interfaces and those kind of stuff like right now see you don't see any kind of virtual interfaces right but now after doing this when I do the show IP interface command you will see a NAT interface right here see alrighty so let's exit out now uh, interface give Ethernet zero slash one so this is my uh, this is my interface that's uh, facing towards the LAN interface IP address Let's give it from a 10 range because my home network is from 190 range, 192 range. Uh, description, LAN interface, um, IP NAT inside, let's no shut it. Uh, so it's up now. <clears throat> uh, let's do this also, guys. I'm going to create a DHCP server real quick, IP DHCP excluded addresses. Uh, 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. uh, IP DHCP sorry IP DHCP pool LAN uh, default router will be 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. uh, default network uh, sorry network will be network will be 10.1.1.0 slash 24 so this is this is one of those uh, this slash 24. I, th I think this is one of those only places where you can use the slash 24 command. Um, and then DNS will be my router IP address 1.1. One .1. Um, everything is set. Exit out. Um, so to create an access, sorry, to create a, a NAT, you need to uh, define an access list because we're gonna apply the we're gonna use the access list to point. Uh, to the NAT interface, saying that hey, this is the this is the access list go to uh, look into so that you can, uh, and these are the particular IP addresses that you should be NATing out. So let's create an IP access list. IP access list. IP access list uh, standard. Uh, let's the, name name this access list as one. Enter. Uh, permit 10.0. Sorry, 10.1.1.0 with a wildcat max of 00 0.255. That's done. Um, and now let's apply this access list. So IP access list source, IP access list um, standard. Oh, sorry, I'm doing something wrong. This is the command, IP NAT, sorry. <laughs> so this is how you apply. So you go to IP NAT actually, IP NAT, uh, and then uh, IP NAT inside. So we're going to NAT the inside to outside. So what is the inside? The inside has been defined on our access list. So standard access list inside, sorry, source, standard uh, source is defined by our access list. So list one. All right. So, so now it's saying 
specify the interface for global address, meaning the public IP facing interface, which is our gig 0 slash 0 slash 1, uh, which can be seen right here. Sorry, 0 slash 0. So let's go into that interface. Uh, gigabit Ethernet interface, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And to enable uh, port address translation, we got to put this command called overload. Overload. So boom, your uh, NAT is working now. Let's exit out and let's verify it. So in this topology, I have connected this workstation. Uh, so I'm going to do an RDP into it. And I have already done RDP session right here. NCP.CPL. Let's see it's, it's getting any IP right now. Right now it has, oh. Hmm. So it quickly got the IP address very fast. That's fast. Let's just ping it out. Ping 10.1.1.1. Let's reply ping. Let's try to ping our DNS 192.168.1.1. There it is. Let's ping www.google.com. And here it is. It's pinging. So let's go to Google. www.google.com. And here it is, guys. NAT is working perfectly fine. Microsoft.com. Not micros, a micros point of sales now. So here it is, guys. It's working. Uh, so let's get back to our router uh, and then see the translations. Show IP NAT translations. So here it is. Everything that has been translated. So first of all, yeah, remember that we did the ping and it, it translated back. And then uh, we did search for, I think this this might be Google, I guess. And this might be the, wow, look at the translations. Wow, so many of them. So these might be Google, Microsoft, those kind of addresses. So just opening one website or two websites creates so many um, port address translations. Wow, guys, look at that. And then so IPNAT, uh, stat statistics. Uh, let look at the statistics uh, translations 116 uh, outside interface is this inside interface is this hits zero misses perfect so this is how you can configure uh, port address translations um, you can do this thing on packet tracer also but in, uh, packet in packet tracer you cannot just go outside to the internet and have the feel of doing it for real um, so I really suggest you doing this on EVNG or GNS3. Um, I hope you like my video, guys. Um, give me any suggestion if you have. Thank you very much.